Yes, everyone, it is time to accept that the government can read your emails. And so can hackers, and so can the company that you work for. Encrypting those emails is the best way to protect your communications, but historically, that's been so difficult that no one ever did it. Luckily, there are some new tools coming out that are making it much easier to lock down your email. One I really like right now is called Virtru, and it's a free plugin for your browser. It works with Google Chrome and Firefox, not yet Internet Explorer or Safari. But once you download and install it, the next time you open up your email, Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail, you activate Virtru and you can easily start sending encrypted email. It's very easy to install, and I really like that you can choose per email whether you want it to be encrypted. You can also restrict whether the email can be forwarded, and you can set expiration dates on the email too. It's a little bit of work for your recipient to read it, but they don't have to install anything. They just click a link, and then they can decrypt the email on the web. There are also apps that you can install on Android or iOS, and there's a plugin that you can download to make it work on Outlook on Windows and the Mail app on the Mac. It's not perfect, but it's about as easy as it gets. For one-time encryption, try a site like InfoEncrypt, where you paste in the message that you want to encrypt, give the recipient a secret password, and they can decrypt it online. There's also a site called SafeMess, which does something similar, but there you can set messages to expire after a certain period of time, which is cool. And hopefully email providers will start helping us out pretty soon too. Google have announced that it will release an easy tool to help you encrypt your Gmail, and it plans to ask Comcast and other ISPs to encrypt any email that goes through those servers too. If you want to practice safer emailing without encryption, start with a strong password. That'll help keep hackers out. And if you have really sensitive information to share, like passwords or social security numbers or your forbidden love, don't email it. Use a secure messaging app to text it, maybe call someone or just tell them IRL in real life.